what's going on guys today we have a comment response video these comments were left quite a while back and they were left by alvin james and snow king right about the same time frame they both requested the same uh, video and that design is crystalline so just a quick note this is not my design i did not make this design i am going to recreate it though for you in razor synapse 3 and we go down to the description you're going to see a dropbox link in here and i'm also going to show you guys step by step how i created this design here we go guys this is crystalline All right guys, crystalline, here we go. So we're gonna start off with a static layer and go ahead and select all of your keys. Click on the blue to start with and just drag that down about, um, let's actually click inside our hex code and make the last two digits six zero. So you got zero, 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 six, zero and hit save. So that's going to give us our blue foundation color. That's going to be the background of this effect. Come down here to the bottom left and click wave to add a new wave layer. With this wave selected, uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to hold control and randomly select some keys across our keyboard. This isn't going to be the exact effect that they have as per key, but it's going to be very, very similar. It's probably going to be almost exactly what they did. Um, so I'm just selecting some random keys in here across the keyboard and we're just going to throw random colors like reds, pinks, I think there might be orange in there and then some blues. So there I've selected some random keys. I'm also going to choose the Razer logo in here. You can choose any of your lighting keys on your mouse too if you have a Razer mouse. And that looks good. I'm going to click on my color drop down and what we're going to use on this for all of the waves is going to be just a single color over here on the right. Um, this first one, I'm going to choose an orange ish color, but more of like a red orange. So I'm just going to drag it around until I get what I'm looking for. Something like that. That looks good. Uh, I'm going to leave my speed at 15 and I'm going to change my width to 200%. We're going to have 200% on all of our waves. And we're going to put in a three second pause. And everything else looks good. I'm going to hit save. And we're basically going to do this randomly changing, very slightly changing values for each wave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the keys we've done this orange color on control C to copy it I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna start selecting more random keys <clears throat> and I will click on my color drop down now and I'm gonna change this one and I'm gonna change this one to maybe a light blue and with this one, I'm also going to check the split option so that it comes from the middle out, just like that. And I'm even going to change the speed of this one. I'm going to change it down to 13, just like that, and hit save. And because we slightly change some of the values in our wave, such as the speed, and you can even start changing the width percentage by a little bit, maybe not 200, maybe drop it to like 190, Making those small changes will make it more random in the keyboard lighting. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Hold control, select some more random keys in here. That looks good. Click the color drop down, and I'm just going to select the single tone color here. I'm gonna go with a pink color and I'm going to make it kind of light like that. Hit save. Maybe we're going to reverse the angle on this one, make it go to the left. Make it a three second pause. Make it around 200%, but we'll make this one like 210 just to mix it up. Looks good. We'll hit save. That looks pretty good. And I think we'll do just one more color. We'll come in here we'll go with like a darker pink maybe. 
So I'm going to hold control and I'm going to select some more random keys in here. Perfect. <clears throat> that looks good just like that. Uh, we're going to make this one split and we're going to angle this one to the left so that it goes inward towards the keyboard instead of going out. And we'll change our color to about a darker pink. We might even keep it right here at this one. Yeah, we'll just keep it at that one. Perfect. We're going to make our percentage 205. Yeah, because we can do that. Let's change our speed too. How about 14? Perfect. Hit save. So all that's left to do is create a reactive. There's a white reactive to this design as well. So come down here to the bottom left and click on that reactive. And we're going to click on that and we're going to select all of our keys. I'm going to exclude my mouse just because I don't like my mouse to have reactive or ripple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the drop down color and I'm going to make mine white all the way, all F's on your hex code. Just a medium duration is fine with me. I'm going to hit save and that's all there is to this design. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this one in the future. Make sure to go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I always leak teasers of my upcoming videos on those platforms. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.